Um, I want you today to draw along with me. Um, but again, this is just a character I'm making up. I'm doing it from a reference. What does reference mean? You're looking at something for ideas. I'm looking at something for ideas. So this is what I'm going to do today. A bulldog. Just because I think they have a lot of character in them. So, um, yeah. But you could really choose anything you want, right? And I'm just going to kind of explain how I would go about doing the bulldog. Um, so, yeah, hopefully we could get this in a way that I could then go and redraw my bulldog character in different uh, positions or expressions and all of that. Um, I don't know that we're going to get that far today, but we'll see. First, I think I'm just going to start with the head. What shape do you think I ought to start with? Circle. A circle looks pretty good, right? I mean, this is a pretty circular type of a head. Can you see where the middle of that circle is? Right here, can you see how there's kind of, I mean, this bulldog almost already has a line going right through the nose, up the forehead. There's like these, this kind of crease there. So I'm just gonna start with a bulldog head. And I'm gonna make it kind of a circle. A real light, sketchy circle. And then I'm going to decide where I want the middle of that head to be. And I'm going to draw my ellipse in there. I'm going to do the same thing here. Draw my ellipse going this way. And I feel like that's a pretty good start to where you know, kind of the eyes are going to go right there. And where the middle of the face is right there. So then I might say, well, his nose area, this part sticks out a bit more. So I'm going to, I'm going to draw another shape right there. And right now I'm just kind of I'm blocking in this head a lot like I would anything else. I'm just not going to fully detail it, right? I'm going to simplify some forms in the end and make it look a little more cartoony. Um, but really, this process is very similar to if I was trying to draw this bulldog exactly. Um, so I, I drew this shape here, but then I kind of want it to to feel like that's sticking out as well. So I'm going to pretend that that's kind of another ball there that sticks out this way. All right, then I'm going to start putting in some other shapes. Well, I already kind of know where I want the nose right around here. And it's just going to be kind of a triangle shape right there. And the triangle is touching this middle line that I drew. From there, I have this big pouty chin part. That's pretty important right there, that shape. And then, of course, his big droopy mouth part. I'm going to make his chin come here. Can you see how his droopy mouth part is kind of coming down past where his chin is? So you can see kind of an overlap right here, right? His cheek droops down past right there where his chin is. I like that. I like how that's going. Um, let's talk about the eyes. Um, you know, this is where I guess my the characterness of it might come through a bit more. Um, I'm probably not going to draw the eyes just like this. I want to maybe show an angry bulldog because bulldogs are often angry looking. They just kind of naturally look angry because of the way their faces are shaped. So I'm going to draw some brow 
and that's kind of in there, but I'm going to kind of exaggerate it a bit more. This furrowed brow, it's like, grr. And I'm going to make this, this wrinkle come like all the way up to that brow so he really doesn't have too much space for the eye. And then I'm going to draw some eyes right there. I like that. Mm, angry and depressed are similar. So if yours is looking depressed, <laughs> then it might be OK. Um, I'm not exactly sure how I want that to be quite yet. There, isn't he looking angry? Yeah, mine looks, mine looks conflicted. They're all similar emotions. <laughs> all right, so then we have the top of the head here. Um, I'm going to kind of leave this line right there, but we got to do the ears somehow, right? If I take a look at this ear, I can see kind of this shape here it kind of droops down past what was going on here and then there's this other shape so I'm gonna kind of put a, a triangle there I guess and uh, I guess to show that this part is drooping down. I'm going to make a line right there showing that it's overlapping right there. Overlaps are pretty important. Over here, I don't, I mean this ear is weird shaped. I don't know what's going on there. I'm just going to kind of mimic what's going on over here. And maybe make it a little more simple because it's on the other side of the head. We don't need to see it quite as much. All right, so let's take a look real quick at overlaps and what is overlapping what. On this eye here, look what I've tried to do. Um, I have the this wrinkle of skin right here. That's kind of important because bulldogs have that. Um, but then the brow right here and the eye kind of goes underneath it right there. Do you see that? And then I have this cheek that comes and goes behind the eye right there. And then the brow goes behind right here. But see how all these overlaps are happening? And I don't make this brow come all the way to the edge. I'm going to stop it to help it look like like this brow kind of curves around the eyeball. You see that? Hey, so that's a head. Do you think we could do this bulldog in a different way now, but happy? Or? Well, you're in luck. There's a happy bulldog. Oh. So let's try to. I don't know. I don't know how well this is gonna work, or if I even know how to do it. The thing is, bulldogs just are kind of angry-looking animals. <laughs> so let's try to um, do a bulldog, but happy. We'll just we'll just keep it. Keep it the same. Remember, like this is as if, say, we're 
we're drawing a television series and we've come up with this character that's a bulldog and we want it to look sometimes angry, sometimes happy, sometimes whatever, right? Um, so this, this one isn't, um, you know, in the same position. I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna try to draw it kind of in the same position, but happy. But what, what has changed about these two bulldogs' faces? Uh, Tongue? Okay. The mouth open. Do you see how far over? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's brows. Look, like they're kind of more excited, right? The eye is a little more open looking, maybe. You kind of have a, like, like when, you, when you get excited or happy about something, everybody smile real big, real quick, like, like you just got the best surprise ever. What happens to your brow? It doesn't furrow like this, right? You know, that's just weird. You feel weird doing that. No, when you're, when you're excited, when you're happy, your brows go up. So same thing is going to kind of happen to this bulldog, especially since we're kind of personifying it, making it look a little more, you know, giving it some human emotions and things. Um, what else do you notice? How about these big droopy cheeks? What happened to them? They they went whoop, they're they're all the way up there and you can see like this entire mouth. All right, so those are some things we're gonna change. You know what? I just realized these bulldogs have teeth. Wouldn't it be kind of fun if we we put some teeth in here coming out of this? There, he's real angry now. All right, so I'm going to do the same position, but happy. So I'm going to start the same way with a circle. I'm going to draw my middle line. Draw this line where the eyes go. Let's bulge this out a bit. All right, and then we can, I'm thinking the ears are, well, I don't know, maybe we should make the ears perk up a bit. We'll see. All right, so that's kind of a really basic block in of our bulldog there. Um, I think I'm gonna place the nose just a little bit higher. Make it feel a little more curvy. I can see a whole lot more of this part of it, right? When it's, when it's pouting, it's almost like this uh, bottom lip covers up some of that part right there. So I'm going, going to actually show that. All right, so I want to make sure that um, I'm showing kind of this rounded shape here. I, I, and it's going to come up, and that's really going to show that smile right these ones just droop all the way down but we want them we want them to start drooping but then we're going to bring it right up and what do we do here well we'll just make that come out like that that little thing thing right there man I'm I'm imagining I mean you see how much less space there is here we're gonna make kind of that all that flab kind of just bunch up a little right there all right now the the mouth Let's get and then let's add some thickness. Remember that when we add thickness to things, this is going to be like that.
And then we'll do a big old tongue. Something like that. Is this working? It's not not working. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know if, if I was like really doing this character. I don't know if I'd ever have this character actually smile. Who knows? It's almost like it's too different of a character. Yeah. All right, I, I like how this brow comes and then there's the head, so I think I'm still gonna do that. I'm just gonna make this. Is that better? Because I like how this brow comes and overlaps the top of the head right there. I'm gonna get rid of I'm gonna get rid of that tooth right there. I think uh, I think I'll just have the teeth when he's angry. I'll get rid of his sharp teeth when he's yeah, something like that. Um, I think I will make his ears perk up. So instead of kind of hanging down like that, I'll just kind of make it out like this. Like he's like, <gasps> they're going to give me a treat. Yeah, maybe it's a little a little too different of a character here. I don't know. Um, Mine doesn't even look like a bulldog anymore. Yeah, it's like, well, I mean, you can still tell it's a dog, but I don't know. Maybe we maybe we need more of these wrinkles in there. Maybe that's, I don't know. If it was an animated cartoon, though, it would look more natural because you would see it move from that to that and you would see it on the screen and you'd go, okay, yeah, that's the same character. Um, doesn't work quite as well, say, like, if this is a design for a t-shirt and you want it to look like the same character but happy th and two different t-shirts. That would be... But uh, it might work in an animated thing. Um, but, hey, I'm not a professional at this or anything. Um... So, I really don't know. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the body, shall we? Doing a body for this. There's, I mean, there's different ways we could do it, right? We could say, let's give it a more kind of a human upright body. Kind of a short, squatty, but super, super built <laughs> something, right? Yeah, something like that. Um, But, yeah, like really, really, really tough looking. Um, I think I'm going to kind of give it more of just a regular dog body, though. So, here we go. I'm going to block the whole thing in. Um, I'm going to kind of give it kind of a, a C shape that goes like this. What is this called again? 
line of action. And I want to make sure my whole thing kind of fits on this line of action. We got our dog here. I'm going to have, see how this comes all the way up there. It's like he has these big, strong shoulders, neck thing. His belly's gonna come down in here, but his it, look how look how wide his arms are. Man, they're just like. Whoo. But I also like how they kind of stick out here and here. So I think I'm gonna kind of exaggerate that a little. I'm gonna make it stick out and then go in. So it's gonna kind of have this this curve shape, kind of like this. I don't know. We'll see. And then I'm kind of getting off of my curve. I'm making my C kind of more like this. Getting off from my line of action a bit, but that's okay. And I like I like this curve that we got going right here in this leg and this curve, this Can you see that? Enough? Maybe? The block in? All right, so I'm going to do the angry face one more time. Remember, I'm not too worried about it looking perfect at this point. I'm just blocking it in. Angry face. I like this shoulder coming down right here. And a lot of this is about overlaps, right? I have the head overlapping this body part. This body is overlapping this leg. This leg is overlapping the body. But right here in the shoulder, it's overlapping the midsection. And then you kind of have the bum and the back leg. Section right there. And then we're going to have a little tail back there. Oh, he's looking tough. All right, now we need to figure out how we want these. Pause to look. I'm not sure how I want. I don't feel like I'm going to see the other back leg. I feel like it's going to be, well, I guess on this one you can't see the other back leg, can you? I feel like I'd need to turn it a little in order to see the other back leg. Hey, and there we go. We got a block in of the body. And it's kind of simple. It kind of looks uh, ape-like almost. 
me get rid of that line right there. So you can just kind of see an indication that this part overlaps. Yeah, I kind of like those curves. It's kind of a fun stylized way to do it. Uh, maybe I will put the other leg back there. All right, and then I can clean it up. In the paw area, I can't see the paws in my picture. So I'm just going to kind of do them the way Mitch did them a bit. There we go. Kind of a, see how it's just simplified? It's not, it's really not much different. I'm just exaggerating some things here and there, simplifying some other things. So hopefully I could draw this dog again in different poses and whatnot. different situations. All right, that's what you're going to do now. Isn't that exciting? You're going to find an animal any animal you want could be a camel, could be a flamingo. Ooh, a flamingo could be like super cool. You know how they stand all yeah, really like skinny, tall legs. Ooh, that could be a lot of fun. Or whatever you want. And then you will turn it into kind of a cartoony, simplified character. Sound good? Cool. All right, let's do this.